Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the oldest vehicle I've ever done. It's a 1991 Toyota 4Runner with 273,000 miles. The vehicle was recently purchased used and the new owner wanted me to clean it up to get all the dog hair removed. At first glance, it doesn't seem to be too dirty. So I thought maybe the previous owner had cleaned it up before they sold it. Well, they may have taken all their personal items out, but they did nothing to remove the years of built up dirt and oils on all the fabric. For you extraction lovers, this vehicle is going to be your nirvana. The entire vehicle is covered in fabric, so make sure you stick around until the end as I have some incredible before and after shots. As I get into the cleanup, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Each of these helps every content creator in a huge way. It really is the only way YouTube knows that people are enjoying the video. So go on down and comment your thoughts on this carpet and whether you'd want a vehicle this old. Then kick back, relax, and settle in with your beverage of choice as I satisfy your OCD cravings with this deep cleaning. Not only does this vehicle not have all weather floor mats, but there isn't a floor mat of any kind in this driver's side. You can tell that this is a much older vehicle as the quality of carpet is the best that I have ever worked on. Even better than the high-end Lexus I did a couple of months ago. That just shows that people demanded more quality from their vehicle interiors 30 years ago. This high quality carpet is going to allow me to get them looking much better by the end of this detail. That being said, some of these stains were allowed to sit for too many years, so I wasn't able to get them completely removed, but I did get them as clean as possible. To restore them completely would require me to dye the fabric, which the new owner wasn't quite ready to pay for yet. This high quality carpet also allowed me to really get the pet hair removed without too much trouble. But as you'll see, there was a ton of it in this Toyota. It was in this rear cargo area where the heaviest concentration of hair was found. Thankfully for me, the high quality carpet was even put in the rear of this vehicle. Automakers today would never consider using materials of this quality in a cargo area. The pressure to cut costs to maximize profits has really diminished the quality of vehicle interiors. While I have some time, I'd like to address a question that I've received from a few watchers. Strapper, why did you decide to get into detailing cars? Well, that's a good question. As usually, people my age don't choose side hustles that are physical in nature. I guess it's just that I'm kind of a perfectionist with the side of OCD that likes to see things clean and I do find something relaxing about it. That is one impressive ball of hair, and this is just from the rear cargo area.
Unfortunately, Mother Nature was not on my side during this detail like she was the last one, as the weather has turned too cold now for me to do any work outside. So I'm going to have to use my Chemical Guys Lightning Fast, my drill brush, and my Bissell to get these floor mats looking good. Fortunately for me, these floor mats are made from the same high quality carpet that the interior is, so getting these floor mats looking good shouldn't be a problem. The cloth seats were one area that didn't look too dirty, but boy, looks were definitely deceiving. The solution the Bissell removed had the look of chocolate milk. In fact, this stain could be chocolate milk that was spilled. Finally, we're moving on to the carpets. There is so much fabric that needs to be extracted that I had to speed up many parts of this process to get it all included. Some of you have asked me to do longer videos, but YouTube just hates when only parts of a video get watched. So I'm trying to find that balance of entertaining you without making people skip through parts of the videos.
This is my first time I've ever had to extract the tailgate. I will say that it turned out really great. And the tailgate wasn't my only time in the first timers club in this vehicle. This is also my first door extraction. Like I said, this vehicle was swathed with fabric. Cleaning the trim is where it really started to hit me just how dirty this vehicle really was. I expected the carpets to hold dirt, of course, but once I wiped down my first piece of trim, I was shocked to see just how much dirt the microfiber towel removed. Just look at how dirty this towel is, and this was just a small area I had wiped down. It was this point in the detail that about broke me. As I worked on the trim in this cargo area, I laid back for a minute to rest on the freshly cleaned carpet. And that's when I realized just how dirty this vehicle really was. I saw the entire headliner was covered in dog hair and just seemed to be a different shade of blue gray than the rest of the interior. Well, I saw this stain in one of the corners, so I sprayed some cleaner and began to scrub. When I saw what the microfiber removed, I was like, holy Oh, oh, sorry about that. But wow, just look at this. I, I think it's apparent that the previous owner must have been a smoker. That's about the only explanation I have for why this headliner is as dirty as it is. Oh yeah, and remember back at the beginning when I said the entire interior was covered in fabric? Yeah, this headliner went from the very front all the way to the very back. I spent more time than I could remember laying in my back spraying and scrubbing that entire thing. At one point I thought about using my drill brush and Bissell but I was too concerned with the adhesive in the headliner releasing, and then I would have had a whole different problem to deal with. One tool that proved invaluable again on this detail was my steamer. It is so good at removing caked on dirt, grime, gum, oils, pretty much anything you can imagine. Honestly, I could not have gotten this thing as clean as I did without my McCulloch steamer. I have this linked in the description below. It won't cost you any more to purchase through my link, but the channel will receive a small commission that will help with my daughter's shoe addiction. With everything cleaned, it's time to restore the trim and give it some UV protection. My product of choice is 303 Aerospace Protectant. It's an easy product to use as you spray some on a microfiber applicator and wipe down all your surfaces. It restores and protects your plastic and vinyl. Such a simple step and it really brings it back to life. I tried a new technique with the glass in this video. It was something I saw Larry over at Ammo NYC doing. I purchased a small squeegee to help leave the glass streak free. It actually worked really well and was much quicker than trying to wipe them completely dry. I would definitely recommend to anyone working on their windows.
This forerunner took a grueling 10 hours of vacuuming, extracting, and especially scrubbing to remove all the filth. These after shots are incredible though. Don't forget to comment below, pound the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you are notified when I release my videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, keep it clean.